And this is about the fifth time that I filmed this video because things keep happening and watch my brother come in the door pretty soon Besides the point. So this video is the materials list the in the rules for our fits cow and our fits cow is the fun in the sun cover-up cow the official name of the cover-up is the summer solstice cover-up and um, I really want to get right into it. So let's jump right into our materials. So you are going to need two hook sizes, a 6.5K hook and a 5.5I hook. Um, I used, uh, for yarn, I'm not a stickler on yarn. You can use whatever yarn that you want, whatever type that you want. Um, but I'm going to put the bug in your ear that I highly suggest this peaches and cream 100% USA cotton yarn. Um, I'm quickly going to tell you how much I used, not precisely, but I'm gonna tell you how much I bought. So this one cone is 400 grams, um, 700, let me read the mail, uh, 706 yards approximately. I used two of these. This is the color Limeade, and this is the color Happy Go Lucky. Um, these are 800 grams together, or 1,412 yards. Um, and I had lot, a lot left over enough for another not cover up but a top if I wanted to so if you are 3x or bigger two is gonna be good for you if you are smaller I would suggest getting one but get two because it's always better to have more than less um, this is how much I had left of the limeade limeade was my primary color and I have more of the happy-go-lucky because it was my secondary color this is definitely enough for me to make another garment if I wanted to so I think that's what I'm gonna do with these so I could not find the scale for the life of me I do apologize the next time I do a cow I will make sure to have the scale so that I can give you guys approximate numbers on how much yarn that I used so I do apologize about that um excuse me for looking over here I have the list um, right here on my computer um, you will also need stitch markers. I only had two on hand, but I would suggest getting four. Um, it just leaves you a lot of leeway. Um, measuring tape. So the top, the cover up is completely customizable to you. And in the pattern, I included a chart, not a chart, more of a worksheet on how to find your measurements and what to do once you have them. So make sure you have a measuring tape. If not, feel free to use my measurements um, and add on. Also, I include in there that the pattern works with even numbers, any even number. So if you want to just chain a chain, make sure it's even. And the pattern will completely work for you in every way that it, it worked for me. Um, you will also need a darning needle, obviously, to weave in your ends. And love and patience. Those are the two most important ones so that is our material list let's go ahead and get right into the rules so I originally wanted to start the cow on the 21st which is the day after the summer solstice hence the summer solstice cover-up but because I was negligent in getting out information sooner and getting the pattern tested sooner it's not gonna work out like that and I want to give everyone enough time to um, get their supplies so I have made an executive decision to move the cow back a week so it was originally starting on the 21st of June which was a Wednesday it will be starting on that following Wednesday which is the 28th and it will be running until July 19th you will have a week from today the 5th which is this video until let me see the 26th which is the Monday before the cow released to get your supplies but I am going to be let this known I am actually really heavily thinking about pushing it back a whole to not pushing it back but extending it a whole month once the cow gets started and I see where everyone is I do think I will do it for a um, the whole month of July 
it starts on June 28th until July 19th. So from June 5th until June 26th, you have about three weeks to get all your supplies. I hope that um, helps. <laughs> And I hope that's enough time. If not, I am very negotiable. I can work well with anyone. Just let me know in the description box or email me with the podcast email that will be in the description box below. Um, the rules. So the rules are really simple. Um, the first and most important rule, well, second important rule, uh, no, the most important is that you have to crochet the cover up. The summer solstice cover-up is a must. If you do not do the cover-up, you are not eligible for prizes. You can still post your submissions, but your submission will not be eligible for prizes. Your first submission will have to be the summer solstice cover-up. That's so I can keep track of everyone who's done it. So, I'm going to say that again. The summer solstice cover-up is a must. If you do not do the cover-up, then you are not eligible for prizes. The second rule is that you can, you don't have to, you can create any other summer slash beach related garment that will go under your cover-up on or on top, I don't know. I'm saying more under because that's what I'm thinking about. I.e. a top, like a, a bikini a top some shorts whatever a garment of some type to go under your cover-up for one extra submission sorry so the summer solstice cover-up counts as one entry into the prize drawing and that's an automatic entry everyone gets the summer slash beach related garment counts as a second entry into the prize drawing so if you choose to do that you have two entries and another thing if you choose um, you can also create an accessory and by accessory I mean a hat um, some sandals a beach bag summer slash beach accessory of your choosing and that counts as two entries into the prize drawing. So the summer solstice cover up is one, the summer beach related garment is two, and the accessory is three and four. So I hope that helps. Um, if you do the cover up, the uh, beach top, and the accessory you have three submissions but four entries into our prize drawing i hope that made sense <laughs> who i hope i explained that well enough i'm kind of nervous um another thing is after you um you don't you do not have to do any extra submissions so when i say that of course the summer solstice you have to do if you want to participate in the cow but you do not have to make an accessory and you do not have to make a summer beach related garment. Those are completely optional. Um, they do get you more entries into the prize drawing, but if that's not your goal, don't worry about it. Have fun, create the cover up, talk with us, chat with us. I wanna see everyone's creations and so don't worry about it. Any other submissions after you do the um the accessory is one so say you create an ex another accessory then it's one submission and not two only for your first time creating the accessory that it becomes two what <laughs> i totally confused myself only after your first time so your first time it's two for the accessory the second time it's only one. God, that didn't make any sense. You can submit as many times as you want. You can submit as many cover-ups. You can submit as many beach garments. You can submit as many accessories. 
and that just gets you more ent entries into the count. But for the accessories, after the first time, it's only it counts as one entry into the um, prize drawing. And I didn't mean count; I meant prize drawing. This is all about the prize drawings right here. Um, and the last rule that is the second most important rule is to have a lot of fun. This cow is supposed to be fun. Get us pumped for the summer. Most of your kids are, well, if you're, they're not grown, getting out of school, you know, vacation time. So that is the point of the Fitz cow. We are going to have fun. Part, I want a lot of people to participate and come out and um, just have fun with me. And of course, I'm going to be participating as well. Um, lastly, I want to at least have about three to four winners. So, with that being said, of course, I'm going to be getting stuff for the prize drawing. But if anyone can, I would really appreciate if someone could donate a prize to the prize drawing for the cow. You can, um, that doesn't disqualify you. <laughs> Visitor. Anyway. That does not, that doesn't disqualify you from entering in the prize drawing. Um, I just obviously won't send you the prize that you sent in. So if anyone would like to donate a prize to the um, cow, please shoot me an email. Um, I will leave it in the description box below. So bro just came home. Hi Noah. Hey, I'm not taking down job. Okay. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it, I've explained everything well enough. If not, feel free to comment below and I don't mind re-explaining it. I, I, I'm not that great with words. Hey, go outside, Jojo. I'm not that great with words. Um, so, just either shoot me an email or leave it in the comments below and I'll get back to you. So, Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.